A shortcut is a series of actions that are connected together to complete one or more tasks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a shortcut to remove the background of your photos. This is going to be a bit of a longer video, so make sure you watch till the end so that your shortcut works properly. To start, tap on the plus sign to create a new shortcut. Add an action. And the one that you want is remove image background. Tap on it. Now we need to make this shortcut available from the share sheet. Tap on done. Long press and hold on the shortcut. Tap details. Turn show in share sheet on and then tap on done. You might have noticed the icon flickered a bit. That's because a new action has been added. This takes input from the Apple share sheet. Tap where it says any and tap on clear to turn off all the input types. To turn on images, tap on done. In the next action, remove background from tap where it says image and I'm going to choose shortcut input. Now these two actions are connected. Once the background is removed, we'll have to save the image. All of the actions inside this shortcut are connected. Open up the Photos app and select a photo. We're going to work with these three photos at the bottom. Let's select this photo. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see it remove image background. The shortcut has run successfully but there's no output. That's okay, let's take a look at what it did. This orientation value is a text value. That's why it gave you the white background. I want to tap where it says orientation. I want to clear that variable and I want to save image without background. If I tap on done, the shortcut will work properly. Tap on the share icon, scroll all the way to the bottom and of course select remove image background. I'll go back into my album view and you can see that the background was removed. Let's take a look at this photo. If I tap on remove image background, the shortcut will execute properly. Not only did the action remove the background of the photo, but for some reason it saved the photo like this. To remove some of the actions and add a few others. I'll just remove these three. Scroll down and you'll see get details of images. The detail that we want is the orientation of the selected photo. Let's open the Photos app one more time. Tap the share icon, scroll to the bottom, remove image background, and you see that the orientation for that photo is up because it says hello world up. Let's take a look at the photo that didn't save properly. If I tap on the shortcut again, we can see our notification, but this time it says right. When the remove background from image action worked, it adjusted the orientation, which changed the orientation of the output photo. You can actually fix this within the shortcut. Follow along carefully from this point on 
Before I actually remove the background of the photo, I'm going to have it make a decision. Once you add an action, you can move it. The long press on the action to move it up underneath the if statement and connect it there so that it will remove the background just like it did before. However, to make sure that the result is saved in the proper orientation, you need to rotate action here, rotate image video. And once again, it has to be moved Tap where it says orientation, and you want to change that to shortcut input because the input is a photo. Then you want to rotate the resulting image, known as image without background here, by 90 degrees. This will set it right. Now, if the orientation is up, like in the photo that worked, we don't need to do anything. So we're going to say remove background. The if result is text. So having this action placed here will not work. Long press and move it underneath here. We have remove background from shortcut input, then rotate it by 90 degrees. Then we're going to have to save it. Now we need to consider what happens if the orientation is set to up. Because in that case, like in the example, you just want to remove the background. So you're going to search for remove background again. You have to move it under the section of the shortcut that says otherwise. That statement says if the orientation is not up then remove the background from the image and rotate the result 90 degrees and then save it. But if the orientation is set to up, we just want to remove the background. Tap on orientation, tap clear variable, you're going to tap on image, and you're going to tap on shortcut input, meaning take the original photo that has the proper orientation set to up and remove the background. Don't forget to save the result. Long press on the action. And connect it to the one that's underneath otherwise. Just show a notification outside of the end if statement. Type some text in here. Where it says if there's no input, continue. Tap on continue and select stop and respond. Then tap on done and I'm going to show you what that does. It presents a message that says please select a photo. Tap on OK. Open the Photos app and select an image that you'd like to remove the background of. Tap on a photo to open it so that it is in full screen mode. Then tap the share icon, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll see an option that says remove background image. Tap on it, 
wait for the notifications. This will tell you what the shortcut is doing as it does it. It's important that you don't tap on these notifications as you see them because they will take you into the shortcuts app. It might look like nothing has happened, but you need to go back to the album view, go all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the same photo has been saved with the background completely removed. The background appears black. This means that the background is transparent. Let me select another photo and I'll show you what I mean. Select the photo once more, tap on the share icon, scroll all the way to the bottom, choose remove image background again, and wait for the notifications to appear. Don't tap on the notifications because they will take you into the shortcuts app. I just put these notifications into the shortcut so you can tell when things are happening. Once more, close that window, go back into the album view, and you'll find that that same photo with the background completely removed has been saved in the most recent photo location. Now, I can open up CapCut once more, tap on Add Overlay, and select the last image that I just created. Notice that the background is transparent, even though it appears as a black background in the Photos app. And then I can long press on the image, drag it over to the side, pitch to make it a little bigger so that it fills in the right hand area, like this. CapCut is completely free to use and it's a video editing app. It does not have the ability to take snapshots or still images of what's in the preview area. To do that, you'll have to take a screenshot using your iPhone. Then tap on the screenshot editor and crop the screenshot so just the completed thumbnail is visible, like this. Then tap on done and tap save to photos. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.